The Supreme Court represents the third branch of government and has always been vital to the separation of powers as articulated in the third article of the United States Constitution. Far from perfect, the Supreme Court is to be a politically impartial body and final arbiter of the law, ensuring the Constitution is upheld and the rights of the American people are safeguarded. But today, the integrity of the Supreme Court is being threatened by a political maneuver known as court packing. What is court packing? It's simply adding seats to the Supreme Court with the purpose of bending a judicial influence towards a political party and its preferred political agenda. Since the Judiciary Act of 1869, the Supreme Court has always consisted of one Chief Justice and eight Associate Justices. But in 1937, after a landslide victory, Franklin Roosevelt proposed a bill to expand the number of Associate Justices to reshape the ideological balance of the court. His ultimate goal was to ensure the court would not block or interfere with his legislative agenda, like getting the New Deal passed without scrutiny on the basis of its constitutional merits. Even with the filibuster-proof majority in both the democratically held House and Senate, the court packing bill was deemed too radical to pass. It was considered highly unpopular and un-American. Today, there is a similar threat that looms large. Those with a radical political agenda know the current ideological balance of the Supreme Court is their greatest obstacle to bypassing the Constitution and the American people. They rail against the current court, saying it's broken, out of balance, and needs to be fixed. But what are they really concerned about? Power and control. Without a packed court, a radically progressive agenda is likely to never pass. These same politicians are proposing D.C. statehood and ending the 60-vote filibuster in order to pass extremely partisan legislation such as the Equality Act, abortion funding, gun control, and expanded federal entitlements under the auspices of infrastructure spending. The late Ruth Bader Ginsburg, a reliable liberal justice, stood against court packing, believing that the integrity of the Supreme Court must be safeguarded against political influence and that any structural alteration would erode public trust. Court packing is about power, not fair representation. To ensure public trust and equal protection under the law, we must keep the court unchanged, safe from political power and influence. I'm Kaylee Hamer with the Standing for Freedom Center at Liberty University.